Square, aka SQ, just reported a massive earnings beat as well. That's another stock today, another Kathy Wood stock that went ahead and beat earnings a lot. Another blowout quarter for them. Payments company reported first earnings quarter, 41 cents a share, well above the estimates of 17 cents. That's a massive, massive earnings beat. And revenue came in at 5.06 billion, also a little bit above expectations. This company is so well positioned for this technological transformation of what's happening in our society. We're seeing a digitalization of technology and Square is positioned perfectly for that. Stock's still down 21% from its all-time highs, but remains obviously up about 230% from its low of May. You know, th th this company is super strong. They have their whole crypto aspect, they have their cash app, and it's one of the reasons the stock has rallied so much in the past year. It has a lot of strong growth profit drivers. That's why the stock's up, you know, over 200% in the past year. Company came out with the shareholder and gave a gross profit margin 79% year over year, gross profits being 964 million. Um, so net income in total, $39 million. You know, just an incredible, incredible quarter. Also, look at that gross profit from Cash App alone, $495 million, 171% year over year. Um, you know, they're growing in all aspects right now, and it's, it's, it's truly a great uh, company. It's one that you want to own um, long term if you believe in, you know, this, this digitalization of, you know, what's happening. We saw PayPal yesterday, one of their biggest competitors, um, post an amazing earnings beat, and Square also also reported 3.5 billion in Bitcoin revenue. 3.5 billion. Um, so obviously, you know that that's that's huge. They bought 0.5, or they bought 5% of all the Bitcoin in the world. So that's, I mean, if you believe in Bitcoin long term, you definitely want to have your foot in the door in this one because Bitcoin's obviously um, a big holding for them. So. Uh, it's it's the top 10, um, one of the top 10 fintech stocks out there that people like. Kathy Wood really likes. It's one of her top 10 stocks. Um, and it's just a great holding overall. Um, and Cash App's growing. Cash App's actually, you know, one of the top 10 most downloaded apps in the App Store as well. So a lot of top 10s for this company. And, you know, that's why the stock's up another 2.4% uh, after hours. You know, still lower than where it was in the beginning of the day after a blowout earnings quarter. And this dropped super, super hard. But... Um, just like the other ones, they've rebounded pretty well since the lows. So, I don't know. Maybe this is the this is the turnaround for tech, uh, especially big growth tech like um, like Square, Roku, and all these that um, have just been beaten down like crazy recently. Maybe this is the turnaround that they need to uh, to get their footing back in the door and you know start to start to move up because obviously these are these are heavily weighted companies. You know, big market caps over 101 billion, um, and obviously the PE still pretty darn expensive at 506 on the company, but. I mean, you're seeing huge year-over-year -year growth, uh, transactions up 266%. Um, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people are very, very bullish on this, and um, for good reasons. This is one of the, this is one of the growth plays that I really like. You know me, I like to to hold Fang and you know a lot of those quality companies, but it's good to have some growth in your portfolio as well, like heavy growth. Um, and I believe Square is one of the best ones for that, just because they're um, they're so well poised for the for the future. So. Guys, let me know your thoughts on Square. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but uh, do me a favor, though, and please hit that like, subscribe button. It means a ton to me. And just enjoy your day. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.